At the beginning of this story, we see a man in the forest who was fishing when he heard the sound of some animal's poop. When he went in that direction, he saw a very big egg, which he was happy to see. He picks it up because he was very fond of collecting and keeping old things. But when he turns back, there was a very big dinosaur there, and that egg belongs to the same dinosaur. The man says hello to that mother dinosaur, but this scene is right here. There is a cut, and then we are shown a scene of five years later where we see a research facility where many scientists were trying to grow dinosaurs back, for which they had prepared a serum which today they have become a crocodile. But Dr. Jost, who was about to do the test, also arrives there who was the head of all of them. He injects his modified dinosaur DNA serum into the crocodile and puts low-level radiation on it, and the crocodile becomes very angry. Seeing this, a lady shoots the doctor and the crocodile with a trag laser gun due to which the crocodile becomes unconscious. Dr. Josh says that I was very close to success but still in this serum. There is something missing and they leave from there. Then they are shown a museum where the school children were brought to the museum to give information about dinosaurs. The teacher tells the children that dinosaurs entered our earth about 65 to 248 million years ago but were alive. But when an asteroid hit the earth, the entire species became extinct. But some people believe that Tyrex was alive even in the era of saber to tiger. A boy named Chris, who was very good in studies, asks questions to the teacher. That you told that dinosaurs were extinct, but there are still some animals alive in this world, which were there even during the time of dinosaurs. The teacher says that you are absolutely right. Some animals of the dinosaur era, like birds, snakes and frogs, are still alive. They are distant relatives of dinosaurs. Cruz asks if it is possible that a big dinosaur could be alive in our world right now. Hearing this, all the other children start laughing at Cruz. The teacher tells Chris that the scientist has not yet. They have searched a lot, but they have never found a living dinosaur. Till now, only crocodile and alligator are the biggest relatives of dinosaurs. Now she takes all the children behind her to show them dinosaurs of all species, but Chris does not follow her and there are dinosaurs. When Chris's friends, John and Kerry, see that Chris is not there with them, they come looking for him and find Chris. They tell Chris that you should not get separated from the group like this. If, if Mr. Brown comes to know about this, he will complain to our parents. Now all of them quickly come back to the group. After school, Chris was returning home with his friends. Chris tells his friends that this is how things are in this world. There are many things about which we are unaware, so I always try to find them. John and Kerry would explain to him that you should concentrate on your studies now, otherwise your parents will think that you are spoiling because of us. That is why they found there a place called World of Wonder. A shop is seen in which strange things are found. Chris wanted to go inside it, so he tells his friends that both of you go. I will meet you tomorrow. I have to check this place. His friends leave from there. Now they go to the shop. He came inside and saw that there were many strange objects and old things kept there, and that place was also very old. Chris rings the bell, kept on the table, and then the owner of the shop comes out from under the table. It was the same man who had got the dinosaur one in the beginning. He looks at Chris and says that children, this is not a toy shop, toys are not available here. Chris says that I have never been fond of toys. I just break toys and look at their mechanisms. I will definitely check. The old man says that you are interesting. You are looking for knowledge. Chris tells that this world has become bigger with knowledge. The old man says that there is magic along with knowledge in this world. But what are you looking for, Chris? He says that I am always looking for some different and unusual creatures. The old man shows him a mummified cat and explains that cats were very important in Egyptian culture. That is why many cats were mummified after their death. Chris tells that I have studied Egypt. In 1888, a farmer found a big tome which contained more than 80,000 mummified bodies, so it does not seem unusual at all. Now the old man shows him the cube and tells that this thing is more than 100 million years old. Chris looks at him and says that there is a spider like this. I also have a piece of it, so he tells him that it is not a paperweight. Once upon a time, these were living creatures which died thousands of years before your birth. Chris says that his, the story has already been written. The old man now asks him what exactly he wants. Cress tells him that he is looking for something that no one has seen before. The old man says that if I give you that thing, then I will give it, but you have to take good care of it. Chris says that I am ready for anything. Now he brings out a mistress boss in his shop and tells Kiss that inside it is the thing you were looking for. Chris tries to open that boss, but it doesn't open. The old man says that first you have to prove yourself that you are ready for this, only then this box will open. Chris says, how much will I have to pay for it, old man? He says that I don't want any money in return. I just want you to take good care of it. Chris promises 
them that I will take care of it. Now Chris takes the boss and comes home where he tries to open it. He does it, but it doesn't open. Then his mother goes there and asks him about the museum. Chris quickly hides the boss. His mother had come to call him for dinner. Chris says that I will come soon. Chris is all door, closes it, and when he looks at the boss he was surprised to find a big egg inside. Cruz is a little surprised by this, but he covers the egg with a blanket to keep it warm so that the baby comes out of the egg. Now Chris quickly eats dinner with his parents and comes back to his room and starts looking at the egg. Then the egg starts moving. Chris picks up the egg slowly, the egg starts cracking, and a baby dino comes out from the room. Chris gets scared and throws it down. Chris tries to touch it, but it scares it and starts running here and there. It was afraid of Chris, it hides under the bed. Chris tells him, you don't need to be afraid, I won't hurt you, but he couldn't understand what he said. Chris puts some jellies for him to eat. The baby Dino comes out and eats those jellies. Now he trusts Chris. Dino baby was hungry, so he tries to eat the notebook, but Chris frees him and takes him to the kitchen. Chris goes to get food from Chris, but his mother was there. Then he hears strange noises coming from Chris's room. He gets scared of Chris and lies to his mother, saying that maybe I forgot to close the window. Now he gets the food. Back in the room, he finds that Dino Baby has messed up the room. He gives him a pie to eat, but he doesn't ask her to. Chris sees a photo of Albert Einstein in his room and the name of that Dino Baby. Albert also puts it away. Now both of them start playing with the ball. Chris explains to Albert that you will always have to stay hidden because if mother sees you, she will not understand my feelings and you will be taken away from me. Next morning, Chris starts taking Dino with him to school, but he comes out and starts teasing him. He also started playing on the swing. Chris tells him to marry him. Just then, his friends John and Kerry arrive. They ask Cree about her homework, but then the Dino baby comes out. John gets scared when he sees it, but Kerry finds it very cute. She asks Cree if it is, you have a belly. Chris tells him its name is Albion. Kerry starts caressing that Dino baby. John asks Chris where you got this dinosaur baby. Chris tells him that after school when I went to that wonder shop. So the owner there gave me a box which had an egg in it. But when I took care of it, a Dino baby came out of it, but it is growing very fast. John tries to touch Albert, but he scares him. John tells Chris that you should tell your parents about it. Chris says that they will never understand my feelings, so I will take it back to the old uncle who gave it to me. Now he comes to the shop, but he was surprised to see that the shop had completely changed and the owner of that shop was a lady. He says to the old lady that I have to talk to that old uncle from whom I had bought something yesterday. The lady says that you, you have come to the wrong place. I work alone here. Cress tells them that that man was here yesterday and she also sees a picture of him there. The old lady tells them that he was my husband. We opened this shop together, but this crush passed away five years ago. He is surprised by this. He says that yesterday I saw him here. The old lady says that you must have seen a dream. Crush leaves from there. He doesn't understand anything. Now he comes to the museum with Albert, where he finds out that the dinosaur he has is Albertosaurus. Chris starts to leave from there, but Albert gets out of the bag and starts wandering in the museum. Then we see Dr. Josh there who had come to the museum to meet Dr. Robert. Robert asks him how his research on dinosaurs is going. Josh says that I am just a short distance away from success. Dr. Robert says that he has some dinosaur skeletons that can help in his research, and he shows some dinosaur bones. Dr. Josh says, I already have a lot of these things. I'm looking for a frozen one of the dinosaurs or one of their petrified ones, so I can get their viable DNA from it. Dr. Robert says dinosaurs, it is very difficult to get one. Dr. Josh says that I will give you a lot of money in exchange for them. Dr. Robert says that if I find one, I will definitely tell you. Now Josh leaves from there. Albert was still roaming in the museum. Chris is trying to catch it, but he is unable to catch it and many people see the baby dinosaur. While Josh also sees the baby dinosaur in the CCTV camera and he also sees Chris in the camera, which is, and he understands that the baby has a real dinosaur. That is why he runs fast and goes to catch it. While Chris also came out running after the dino, the baby dino wanted to roam free. That is why he is not able to catch it. Josh also comes out and he also starts chasing Chris, but Chris cleverly puts the dino baby back in his bag and starts leaving from there. But then Josh comes near him and he tells him that I, I want to check your bag. Cruz runs away from there fast, but Josh can't catch him. Baby dino started getting hungry. That is why he was shouting loudly. Cruz tells him that I will soon buy you something to eat. Now he comes to a food market. There were many things there, but he was not able to understand what dinosaurs eat. A dog sees a baby dino in Chris's bag, which he starts eating with enthusiasm. But the dog's owner, Chris, feels that he is tormenting the baby, so he catches his dog. 
Chris now takes some food items for the dino baby. Then the dog starts tormenting Albert again, due to which Albert gets out of the bag and starts running away. Also runs after him, but he collides with a man as he is unable to follow Albert. Albert now comes out of the food market where he goes inside a car. Chris quickly comes outside to find Albert. Chris goes after that car on his skateboard while the man takes the car and reaches home. He gets scared after seeing the dinosaur in the car, which was eating his vegetables. He quickly runs away. He takes out a gun from the car and starts shooting at Albert, but Albert runs away from there. Now the man quickly calls the police there. The police quickly go there and they catch Albert. Albert vegetables. It had grown quickly because of the food. The police officer could not understand what it was. They thought it was a big reptile. Captain Williams called Dr. Joss because Joss was a big reptile expert, so they called him to the police station. Dr. Josh realizes that it is the baby dinosaur which he had seen in the museum. He asks his colleagues to quickly go to the police station. Now the officer puts the dinosaur in his car and takes it there. Cress had also arrived there and sees Albert whom the police officer was taking with him, so he chases the police car and comes to the station. The police officer asks him, Child, what are you here for? Cress tells them that I am working on a school research project, so I wanted to get some information about the police station. There he sees Albert locked in a cage, which scares him too. That Albert had now become much bigger and scarier than before. Chris now went and sat near a man sitting there. That man was none other than the owner of the same wonder shop who had given him one, but his had completely changed. Chris tells him, you look just like the guy I met yesterday. The old man says, I'm not him. What, what? The dinosaur locked inside is your friend. Chris tells them he ran away from me and they catch him. The old man tells him that this place is not safe for this creature, so you have to get him out of here. It will be safe and secure in the forest because there will be no people there. Chris also feels right in what he said, and then the doctor is there. Josh also arrives. Chris gets scared by this. Dr. Josh lies to the police officer that the creature is mine and it had escaped from my research facility. Now Josh's friends take the dinosaur and take it to Chris to keep it in their car. Couldn't do anything, but he tells Albert that I will fix everything. Jost now takes Albert and leaves from there. Chris tells the old man that we have to save Albert, but Jost had left from there, old man. Jost tells Chris that I have a way by which we can save your friend, and he takes Chris with him, while Jost tells his companions to make full preparations, and he tells Albert that with your help I can do a lot. I will make all the dinosaurs, but you will not be alive to see them. I will become very rich and famous in a few days. The old man takes Chris to a forest and tells him that the scientist will bring that dino to his research facility built in the forest. Chris says that I can't go there on my skateboard, so he takes out a mini car from his house which he had modified. Chris finds that car awesome. The old man tells him that I want to recycle. I don't like tax, so I made it from old junk. Now they leave to go into the forest. On the way, Chris also sees his but he hides his face from them and they go ahead while Jost is with his friends. He calls all his scientist colleagues and tells them that soon we are going to make history and shows them a living dinosaur, seeing which all the scientists and guards are shocked. He says that now we should focus on our research while Chris was also moving quickly inside the forest with the old man. The old man also activates the booster installed in his car. The speed of his car increases a lot due to which he was about to come in front of a car, but it rings. The old man applies the brakes of the car, but the brakes were not working. That is why his speed does not reduce. Kraus gets very scared by this, and then he hits a tree near the road. The old man tells them that he drove a car for the second time in his life. Now both of them come on foot outside Jost's research facility. The old man distracts the guard outside and leads them away so that Chris can go inside the base. The guards go and catch the old man and bring him to the base and hold him there while Crew starts looking for Albert, while avoiding all the ass. He finds Albert inside a tent, and he is happy to see that ass. Albert Duff has grown up a lot, and Kushwa says that I will get you out of here soon, but then two giants come there and start holding him, but then the old man comes there. He makes both of them unconscious. Now they also free Albert from the chain and start leaving from there, but Joss comes with his companions and surrounds them. He asks them to hold both of them with his ass, but then their Albert comes out of the tent, who has grown very big. He starts scaring Jost and his friends, due to which they start shooting at him with the trunk laser gun. Albert gets very angry due to this, due to which everyone starts running away in fear. Albert, Chris and the old man also leave from there following Josh with his friends. Chris was moving fast with Albert. He knew that if Albert got caught by Josh this time, he would not survive. Old man and Chris bring Albert to the mountains. 
Jost had also come there with his companions, but Chris hides Albert behind stones so that they cannot find him and move ahead from there. Now old man Albert and takes Chris with him and tells Albert that if you stay with this baby dino, Dr. Jost will find it. So now you have to leave. Chris is not ready to do this and says that Albert is my responsibility. The old man says that we have no other way. He can be saved only by staying alone. Cress also understands his point and says goodbye to Albert. Albert now leaves towards the dense forest. Now Chris goes to the forest with the old man. Jost comes out of the car and they start heading back towards the city, but Josh catches up with Chris and the old man. Jost asks Chris where Albert is, but he tells her that he went to a safe place. The police also come there, so Jost runs away from there. The police officer asks the old man and Chris, what are you both doing here? Then they tell him that we are fine. We just came here to avoid it. Now Chris also meets that old man. Sheraj goes with him. They go back and sit outside the same wonder shop. The old man tells Chris that you did a great job. Chris asks if I will ever see Albert back. The old man says, I believe. Chris tells them that Albert he leaves and meets his new friend, but he is surprised to see that the old man has disappeared. Carrie says that we did not see anyone here with you. Chris tells them to go home. And now he looks back inside the shop where he sees the same old man. He also looks at Chris and says hi and disappears from there. With this, the movie ends here. Guys, if you also want a dinosaur, what would you do if you get one? Do tell me in the comments.